Let's learn about assignments in Microsoft Classroom. To start with, don't get too hung up on the naming convention. An assignment doesn't have to be a summative piece of work. Rather, it can be homework, in classwork, drafts. Basically, it's just a tool to collate all students' work in the one place. Jump on over to Microsoft Classroom. From here, it is pretty intuitive. Simply click New Assignment. Give it a title, select a due date and time, and then put a description in the box below. So you might want to copy and paste information from a task sheet, or you could simply give a brief overview. Any information you enter into this area is also emailed to your students. You can also attach any resources for your class. These can be virtually in any format imaginable, and you can choose if they come from your OneDrive, the class notebook, a link, a web search, or video. So for example, our class has been watching Romeo and Juliet. I can jump over to click view, copy the link, come back to my assignment, click link, and paste it in, give it a title, and now it's attached to the assignment for the students to reference. If they are responding to a stimulus, you can attach that directly to the assignment. Likewise, if you have a template that you'd like the students to work from, you can attach that to the assignment and click make a copy for each student. The post to section allows you to distribute the assignment across multiple classes, which is really handy if you have more than one class that you teach in the same year level. You also have the option to allow students to participate in discussion. So this allows students to talk about the assignment with each other. Once you're happy, click done, and boom, you will receive an email, your students will receive an email, and the date that it is due will be added to your calendar, as well as the student's calendar, so they have no excuses for not knowing when something is due. All right, let's take a look at the student view. Okay, we're in Ricky's classroom, and he can easily see all the work that's coming up. When he clicks on an assignment, it shows the title, description, due date, but also the resources that the teacher attached. So Ricky can refer back to Romeo and Juliet at any stage, which is particularly useful if he was sick during the in-class showing. Likewise, he literally can't lose his task sheet. All right, so we set Ricky up with a template before. So if we jump into his work, we can see that that template is automatically there for Ricky to start working on. And he can do that right there in the web browser or open it up in the Word desktop app. The great thing about this is that it's stored in his personal OneDrive. So it's automatically saving every couple of seconds if he's editing it inside a web browser. And because it's stored in the cloud, if his computer crashes, there's always a copy there and it's easily retrieved and put onto another computer. Let's jump back into the assignment view. From here, Ricky can talk to the rest of the class or if you'd like, you can privately message the teacher and this will come through to the teacher's email account. When he's happy, he can press turn in and his assignment is submitted to the teacher. So let's jump back into the teacher view and now we can see that there has been one submission. By clicking on the assignment submission link, we can see who has and who hasn't submitted their assignment. Alongside the, alongside the date and the time that they submitted it. If I click on Ricky, I can see his work on the right hand side, which conveniently appends his name to the end of the assignment. If I click on the assignment submission, it opens in a web browser and I can give feedback through comments. To leave a comment, simply click on review and then add new comment. Or I can open it up in Word and use the full power of track changes. One nifty feature in this view is the show edit activity. Because the student's been editing it on OneDrive, it's logging every single edit he makes. So I can go back from the start of the assessment and see the progress he's made and when he's made that assessment throughout, made that progress throughout the assessment. Back in the assignment window, I can give some overall feedback in the messages section, or I can easily contact a student if I've noticed they haven't submitted their work by simply clicking on their name and writing a message. You can also grade the assignment if you wish through Microsoft Classroom. It does not link up to SRS, however. 
Um, unfortunately, at the moment, classroom only accepts a numerical grade from 0 to 100. So if you're teaching, say, years 6 to 10, you might want to use a 5-point scale with 1 representing E and 5 being an A. You can do this by changing the max result from 100 down to 5. There you have it, a very quick overview of just some of the features that can be found in the assignments section on Microsoft Classroom.